That's Ray's tutoring? Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we'll be going over alcohol dehydrogenase. This is a very important enzyme used in the body to metabolize ethanol. So where we have start here, we have some alcohol and in alcohol we have ethanol. And it's important that we break this down using alcohol dehydrogenase, which will then be uh, metabolized into a simpler acetate, okay? So let's go into this more. The first step where we start at is ethanol. So we have ethanol consumption. We have an individual that may consume something with ethanol. So we have all these ethanols here that need to get broken down in the body. Next, we have the metabolism. So we start at our ethanol and through the powers, which is my favorite, I always talk about ATP, and NAD plus where NAD plus gets oxidized into NADH allowing ADH which is also alcohol dehydrogenase to do its work so it converts this ethanol into something called acetaldehyde now many people would be familiar with acetaldehyde because if you ever had a drink and maybe a bit too much to drink the next day you have a hangover. That acetaldehyde is the reason for that hangover. It's the toxic stuff, right? So it's in your liver. You have all this acetaldehyde buildup, and that's really what causes the hangover. So now what we have next is something called ALDH. ALDH is acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. So if we blow up the image here, we have a liver where again, we have our ethanol consumption, then we have alcohol dehydrogenase converting that ethanol into acetaldehyde, the toxic stuff, and then we have acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, an additional enzyme that comes in and converts this into acetate, and that acetate will then be used um, in other processes within the body, okay? And remember, guys, this all occurs in the cytosol of liver cells. So the cytosol is um, kind of like the fluid area or the cytoplasm of a cell. Now, if we jump to the MEOS, this is the microsomal ethanol oxidizing system. What a mouthful. So let me go back to the last slide. And just real quick, as you guys see, we have our alcohol dehydrogenase, and then we have our microsomal ethanol oxidizing system, or the MEOS. So this also breaks down ethanol into acetaldehyde. But the difference with the MEOS is this happens when there is a large amount of ethanol. So this process is usually done, when I say this process, the whole alcohol dehydrogenase metabolism is usually done in the cytosol. But in other instances, it can happen in the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell where we have an enzyme called cytochrome P450, which is a part of a cytochrome family that will go ahead and catalyze the metabolism of alcohols. And this happens when there's an excessive amount of alcohol or ethanol that is going through the liver. This is also known as oxidation of ethanol. So just another recap for you guys. We have ethanol. It is metabolized by ADH through the powers of NAD plus getting converted into NADH. After alcohol dehydrogenase uh, metabolizes ethanol, we get acetaldehyde, the toxic stuff. And from there, we have acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, which then converts the acetaldehyde or the toxic stuff into acetate. And that'll be used for other, uh, for other processes in the body, like circula uh, circulation to the brain or to the heart. In excessive amounts, we have the CYP2E1, which is also the cytochrome P450, that occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum where that ethanol will be metabolized by a separate enzyme.
okay? So that's just a quick explanation of alcohol dehydrogenase and the metabolism of ethanol. If you guys want more of this, let me know about now. <laughs> let me know down below. Um, you guys can feel free to ask any questions. Uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.